Hey there, how's it going? David in ARC here. Today in BeamNG, I'm doing something completely different. I thought it might be fun to grab some video caps, some screen caps of different vehicles and then play around with them. So uh, what I ultimately ended up doing was going into the world editor and creating a mesh road that you can see here has no texture, you know, it's just your generic mesh road. But uh, what I did was uh, go in and raise it up off the ground um, because the issue I was having was with shadows and backgrounds. There's just all kinds of weird stuff going on. But so what I did was uh, after I created the mesh road, I went down into the textures and there is a glass transparent building type texture and so i applied that to the top to the sides and then to the bottom and as you can see yes there's the glowing orange outline but that's just so that you can later find it and from certain angles you can see that there's this giant you know slab sitting in the air um, but the advantage is that once you're above it, you don't see that at all. And as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble getting the car situated. But once I did, then I went in and grabbed different vehicles and viewed them from different angles just to kind of play around with the angles, with the uh, depth of field. You can see I actually had to move the car um, because <laughs> I was a little too close to the edge. Uh, and just for the sake of argument and, the, and for the purposes of discussion, um, that line, that horizon line, was a real pain to deal with in editing for the photos. So in the future, if I do this again, uh, what I'll probably do is create a mesh road that just has a white paint that I use as the background. I tried to find some maps, um, you know, showroom maps, uh, garage maps, those types of things, but they always left weird lighting and I didn't want that. So as you can see here, we're using the uh, scintilla. I'm getting different angles. I did from the top, I did from the sides, from the front, from the rear. Some of them I even did from underneath just to see what that might look like. And uh, you'll see later in the video uh, when you see some of the finished products that I came up with, a lot of this stuff I didn't even mess with. Here I'm messing with the sun angle because I kept getting... Uh, you know, lens flare, which is really cool if that's the effect you're looking for, but it's not. Remember, I'm going to ultimately remove the backgrounds from any stills that I take and use those in my final product. I also tried to grab different vehicles, again, just playing around, but I wanted to play around with different colors. I wanted to see what I could do, what I could come up with, what my brain could wrap itself around in terms of having fun laying out the different projects. So again, I chose a bunch of different cars. Not all of them ended up being final projects, but some of them did. So here is the lead sled, the burn side lead sled. In my head, I was thinking of those car posters that you kind of see where you've got this car uh, with just the the plain colored background. So that's that that's a front side and rear. Here you've got the bastion, and it is just an orange bastion on an orange background. I like this, but you can see it's got jaggies. It's a little tough, so I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. But then I started playing around with racing stripes. And so here we have a, a bolide that is orange and black, and then I used a slightly off-color orange and the black stripes here and then one of my all-time favorite right here man this scintilla I, I love this I, I may end up printing this out for myself I just absolutely love that uh, the way that came out and this I thought was also really cool I love the t-series with the different uh, stripe effects and every color I pulled for the background came from the vehicle that was featured in that uh, kind of poster picture or whatever you want to call it. So anyhow, I, I, mo I mostly wanted to show you this because I, I want 
people to think outside of the box. Get creative. Do really cool things with BeamNG that you might not otherwise think about doing. So anyhow, that's where all of this was going. I wanted to see what I could do and maybe inspire other folks to take a similar path or do whatever it is that you want to do or that, that you come up with and, and share them with me. I would absolutely love that. So there you go. Anyway, just having some fun in BeamNG. I'm David in Arc. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.